Hi, I'm Chuck Dorsett for Weaver Leather Supply, and this is The Leather Element. If you've got a good question for us, or a good idea for a leather element, drop it in the comment box below. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So, have you been cutting your round corners by hand, and they're not perfect? Well, that time's come to an end. We've got a round corner knife. Not just one size either, multiple sizes. So therefore, multiple uses in our shop. Let's take a look. I have to say, when I first saw these tools, every impression I had was wrong. Well, first off, I'm expecting a drive punch. Wood's not gonna stand up to our mallet. Well, the reason there, this is not a drive punch. It's a corner knife. So right here, this is some of our holster leather, eight to nine ounce. Let's cut a corner into this. Yeah, how easy was that? And not even much hand pressure. So no mallet required. Now the first time I got these out, I actually did use a mallet. Went through my leather in about an eighth of an inch into my poly board. Well, actually this is a good point. For folks that are new, we wanna make sure we're cutting into either our poly board or our black poundo board. We don't wanna punch into our quartz. We're gonna trash our tool and our quartz. But right here, this is Aogami, number two steel, and it's actually two ply, exceptionally durable and exceptionally sharp. Now, size-wise, these are actually listed in millimeters. My impression, I was expecting circumference. It's not, but actually this is a little bit easier. So on our sizes, we've got a 4.5 millimeter, 9, 12, 25, 30, and 40. So what we're doing here is we're actually measuring from the corner out. So a 25 millimeter, we're coming 25 millimeters out. It's as simple as that. And in fact, right there, that's an eight to nine ounce two ply. Let's see how this cuts through that. Yeah, that easy. It literally just glides through the leather. Now, one more point. We've got some smaller sizes here. Well, that's gonna make a very small round corner. Well, actually, the best place for this is an inside corner. Now on our back tags, perfect example, we can always cut a square corner and it looks pretty good, but a round hole punch, we can never really seem to get these exactly right. Right here, the round corner knife, that's gonna make that easy and professional. But there's also two other ways we can use this. Let's jump over to our pattern table, take a look at those. The longer these tools are in my shop, the more uses I am finding for these, we're gonna look at some cool options. So first off, right here's a little sticker. This has got our size on it. I don't see that staying there. So I'm gonna draw in on the back, the size, 25 millimeter, and then the equivalent. But in all honesty, the equivalent has been no help at all because of the way these are measured. It's so easy to deal with. Well now, first off with multiple sizes, we have the option of inside corners proportional corners. Here's what I'm talking about. Well, first off, like we said, cutting a small inside corner with a knife, virtually impossible. But let's start here. So as reference, 25.4 millimeters or 2.54 centimeters equals one inch. So 25, we're pretty close to that one inch. So let's come out, do a one inch round corner. Now again, I'm talking on camera, so basically what I'm saying is, is lower your expectations, but the technique is solid, okay? Let's jump down to a 12 millimeter, just about half. Let's come in about half of an inch and press, okay? Let's cut these two lines to the edge. And there we go, how easy is that? We have a proportional, perfect round corner. That's gonna make a great window. And that inside cut, so easy to do, and it looks so good. Now, we sometimes have a project that's gonna to come to a point. Think of a rifle sling, or maybe a cup. How about a scabbard or sheath? Well, we'll never get a round end punch on that. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna clip our edges, but the corner knife, perfect for that. And we go all the way up to a 40 millimeter. Now, our filigree, always one of my favorite techniques, but right here, love the look of the square, but it's hard to hit that right on the nose. In fact, right there, I've got an overcut. We could always drop in a round corner there, and that is gonna look so professional and so finished. But also, we've done a video recently where we can create our own forms out of leather. Well, we don't have to do this now, because now we can absolutely cut inside corners. And one more. 
This is pretty cool. Love the diamond. And this is one of those areas where total creativity, just think about it. How many ways can we go with these? Now, it'd be best if I measured this out, but let's just get, a, get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go with the 25 millimeter. Now again, it would have been better if I measured that out, but we're just getting the idea here. How cool is that? That would look so good with a cutout. And there's no cutting. We're, well, there's cutting, but we're, we're simply using a knife. So everything is clean, accurate, and consistent. So many ways to go with these tools. Our corner knives, not just for round corners anymore. All kinds of ways to go with these. I hope this is a good tool for you. Hope it helps you out in your shop. Thanks for taking time to watch The Leather Element. Good luck with your projects. Thank you.